Hello everyone and welcome to today's painting video. For this tutorial, I choose to walk you through the process of how I make a watercolor and colored pencil portrait. The first thing you want to make sure you have is a nice and tidy sketch. You need to erase all the unnecessary lines and keep your sketch simple. For example, you can only keep the lines that help you get the shape of the eyes, uh, the shape of the nose, the mouth, the hairlines, only the necessary parts that help build the shape of the face. So once you get this, you can start the most interesting and most fun part, which is, of course, painting. What I always do with watercolors is work with layers. So what I do first is try to block colors, starting from lighter skin tones to darker ones. I try to make sure that all the spots of the face are covered and there is no white showing off the paper. But sometimes I like to keep some areas white. It only depends on my mood and the style that I'm going for. Then I keep adding shadows and trying to build values for the portrait in each layer. Now it's time to use colored pencils. What I love about colored pencils is their ability to give the painting a high level of details that actually grant the drawing a realistic style. And this is what I'm looking for too. Watercolors help me give the loose and uh, abstract style while colored pencils give the painting a realistic flair. So as you can see from the painting process, I always like to exaggerate some features and colors. For example, for this painting, I'm going for very bright orange cheeks, dark red eyeshadow, and very orange looking lips. Now there's something you should keep in mind. It's very important to keep going back and forth from the face to the rest of the body and sometimes the hair. It's actually the best way to correct mistakes coming from mixing the skin tones. For example, here, I kept working on the face using bright orange and yellow, and it didn't match quite well with the neck, so I made sure to correct it with watercolor pencils. Now, let's talk a bit about the watercolor process. What I usually do is paint a first layer and then wait for half an hour or sometimes one hour, it depends on how much water I used, until everything dries completely. Then I work on the second, third, and maybe fourth layer. I just keep on layering until I'm happy with the results. There are two main reasons why I love using watercolors. The first one is that watercolors help cover the paper and actually make it easier to build values later in the process using colored pencils. So they make the painting process easier. The second reason why I use watercolors is their ability to give the painting an artistic and an abstract vibe. I love keeping some harsh border on the cheeks, collarbone, on the nose too. I think that these shapes give the painting a very charming and beautiful style. At first, I did not plan on using acrylics. However, the red background of the reference photo really inspired me to make the jewelry flower on her head red. So this is what I did. I painted the flowers red and made their center golden. And I really liked and enjoyed how the flowers came. So I decided to sketch and paint more of them on the background. Now, after setting quite well the dark and light areas of the hair, I need to go back to the face and the neck and define them again using colored pencils. So this way I can correct the skin, add vibrant colors if I think I need some, get some areas darker, get some areas lighter. I just keep trying until I'm happy with how the painting looks. Now the painting is almost finished. I'm about to start the second exciting part of the process, which is embellishing the portrait. I'm adding shapes and lines on her hair with an acrylic pen and some blue and red glitter on her hair and on the flowers. 
and also some blue metallic paint to give the hair extra shine. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it enough, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your artist friends and let me know in the comments below if you use watercolors the same way as I do or do you have a different technique? Thank you so much again for watching and see you in my next video.